welcome back to Liz's Cocktails Baker's Edition. Yes, this is our last episode together. I know. You guys, we've gone through all 13 of Mary Baker's men. I know. Really quick, too. <laughs> Damn. I'm on a roll, aren't I? What a wild ride it has been. I know. So many ups and downs and likes and dislikes. <laughs> It's like dating what we've done. Here. Yeah, <laughs> really. But episode 13 was a special one. It was our last episode of the season. Mary goes on a date with this guy, Aaron, who on paper is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Just like all the checks. It was from that date that she realized her heart was elsewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's something really sweet about it too. Because this guy's great, just she, she's digging someone else. She's crushing on someone else. This is cocktail the bitter crush. Fitting. <laughs> For this, you're gonna need two ounces of Aperol, one and one half ounce of white rum, a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, two dashes orange bitters, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, a lemon twist for garnish, and some ice. Let's do it. First, you wanna start with filling a glass up with some ice. Like this. Oh, I lie, I lie, I lie. She wasn't. Tell the truth. <laughs> Back. We're gonna start with a glass to mix in first, and you're gonna add your Aperol. Come on, Liz. I know. Second time. She's always spilling. You're gonna add your Aperol, a few dashes of rum. It is smelly, too. It'll be like two oh, ounces. This is it. Perfect. Oh my gosh. gosh. You're out of here. Fired! Liz, Liz does cocktails, just does End cocktails. Come on, Liz. Some, um, is that ginger candy? No, it's oh. a lemon twist. I'm um, so excited. Some uh, lime bitters and then some of the sugar. I'm gonna... <laughs> there you go. And some sugar there. Exactly. Stir it up. Oh, yeah. You just add it to your eyeball glasses. Eyeballs. I feel like I'm definitely, you know, you could add a little bit more of the ingredients to make a full glass drink. <laughs> Something definitely went wrong there with my math. It's because we don't have measuring cups. Exactly. Like, I don't know what two ounces is, so I just put a little flop in. Well, cheers. Cheers to the guy you wish you wanted to date. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say cheers to the end of it. Oh, that is so much better. <laughs> Why did the garbage can just open? Can close. I know, Wait, right? cheers to, yes. yes. Cheers to Baker's Dozen. Yeah. And Liz does cocktails. And Collaborate. Yes, I love it. It's so much fun. It's great. It's been a great third I know. week. It really has been. I know. Well, don't miss me too much. <laughs> hopefully this drink is as good as this experience has been. Let's try it. Okay. Step one off. I like the experience a lot more. A lot more. That's I think it's good. a little too much of the Aperol. Very, very I'm just gonna stick with my rosé or tequila on the rocks. Yeah. I'm just call it a day. This drink was nasty. If you have a better suggestion for a better kind of taste in the Aperol drink, let me know in the comments down yeah, below. Yeah, please. Cause this was not the business. No. Maybe because we forgot the lemon twist? Yeah. It adds. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our last episode of Liz Does Cocktails Baker's Edition. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know every time I come out with a new video. Casey wants to say hi. Hi. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Maybe he didn't.